Yeah, yeah, I drink, yeah. What, what, what would you like to drink? I'd like you to tell me what's going on. <laughs> what do you mean, what's going on? You're the one that just came back from the dead. Don't play stupid with me. Decided not to read my note? What note? What are you talking about? How long have you been back? Hey, Sean. Shove your questions. Shut your mouth. And listen to my questions. It's like, how could you let Felicia marry this guy? You know what his name is? Sanctuary. They sent him to kill me, Sean. Or don't you care? Just take it easy here. Fiscal. And what is with Felicia? She couldn't wait for me? What do you mean, she couldn't wait for you? We all thought you were dead. That's bull. The WSB guaranteed me they would tell her that I was alive. That I was coming back. What happened to you? <laughs> Sean Donnelly and Robert Scorpio. My two allies, right? The two men who introduced me to the WSB, who trained me, cradled me, brought me along. <laughs> you know, I would love to see how you two would handle living in a Bulgarian prison for two years. What Bulgarian prison? The one I just escaped from, with two hitmen on my tail. Make that one now. Well, we'll get into that later. I think I better clear something up for you. Nobody pushed Colton and Felicia together. That just happened. And besides, Felicia almost lost her life twice trying to find you. Save it, Sean. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. Frisco, we all tried to find you. Me, Felicia, Robert. We checked, we double-checked, we triple-checked. And when you life. didn't have anything, you just wiped me off the face of the earth. No. until I found your grave. I found Frisco Jones's grave. Half hidden some motley field in Canada. did this. Well, it would not be the first time. You knew about it, didn't you? No, I did not know about it. I did not know about it. And I just learned something about the WSB. Never, ever trust them. Never trust them. No. You gave up. You gave up, Sean. You let me sit there and you let me rot in that sewer, aching for my wife every day. While well, you live the good life. And you play Cupid for this guy, Sanctuary. Just, just, just come. I looked up to you. And I trusted you. And worst of all, I thought you were my friend. to wear when I come to pick you up. A white shirt would help? I don't have a white shirt. Then wear a blue shirt. I don't know. I have a t-shirt. Oh, I don't care.
I know this is your living room. Man, what happened to you? I ran it. I ran it. Strong. Into a little trouble. I don't know. Here, get this thing off. Let me look. Wait, uh, let me look. I'm get fine. this thing off. Get it off now. Careful. <clears throat> Man, it looks like he got knifed. I got jumped on the docks. Hang on, I got some water over here. We're gonna clean this thing up. It doesn't up. look very deep. Yeah, you gotta clean it up anyway. Don't worry about it. Hey, listen, if that's your new shirt, you don't have to bother. Consider it barred, okay? This really isn't necessary, you know, to Could go through. Can you just shut up while I'm doing all this, okay? Need some help? Here. Thank you. You got a name? Yeah. Call me Mouse. You laugh at it, and you're gonna lose your teeth. Careful, Mouse. It's not bleeding too bad. Give me that. I gotta get out of here. I'll just tie it up. You're gonna get out of here, or you're gonna get out of Port Charles? Port Charles, for good. Uh-uh. What do you mean, uh-uh? You're not going anywhere. You don't know how clean this knife was. I didn't bother to ask him if he'd cleaned it, no. Well, you ain't going nowhere until you get some disinfectant on that thing. Well, I haven't got time. Tough. Make time. Because otherwise you're going to wake up tomorrow morning with blood poisoning. Well, I may wake up with blood poisoning, but I'm not going to wake up here in Port Charles. Hey, look, it's 10 or 15 minutes. going to change your whole life. I don't have a life in Port Charles anymore, kid. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it's better you don't. Boy, you're in a bad mood. You've had a rotten day. I've had better, yeah. Well, look, promise me that at least you'll stay here until I get something for this cut, okay? All right. You got any money? I don't need money for the kind of shopping I do. Man, you look like hell. Why don't you catch some of these while I'm gone? I wouldn't ask you when you have to go, but I have to know. Do you have to know now? Can't we just pretend that I don't have to go at all? What happens if I wake up in the middle of the night and you're gone? That won't happen. You will not wake up in the middle of the night because I'm never going to let you go to sleep because I'm going to make love to you all night and then when the sun comes up tomorrow, I'm just going to hold you in my arms and tell you how much I love you all day. All day. Tell me who you are. 